Okay, so the kids did a great little foraging find today. These are young ferns. These are actually edible. Um, we're going to um, check them again, but everything says that they are the good ones. They found them in a damp area down by the creek. You can see they haven't spiraled out yet. Um, fiddle heads are the best ones like this, but they kind of taste like green beans. So I'm actually going to check, make sure everything is good on these, and then we'll do a video and show you guys how to eat them. Now, ferns are not a food that I recommend for new foragers. Um, I've been looking at these now that I got them out of the kids' hands. Now, these are not fiddleheads. You can see there should be a groove on the inside. There's not. And normally when we're talking about fiddleheads, around this coil there will be like a brown, papery um, part that's coming off. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to research and see what kind of fern... Um, fern heads these are and also whenever I say fiddle heads fiddle heads are actually all ferns made like this are considered fiddle, fiddle heads but fiddle heads have become a common name for the edible oyster or I'm sorry not oyster ostrich fern that is very edible and delicious it's considered a delicacy um, now there are other ferns in the Appalachian areas that are edible so what I'm going to do is I am going to try to identify these and get a little bit more information so that um, all of you can learn. But I do not recommend any new foragers or anyone who does not have um, a mentor or someone that can help them identify these things um, to eat any fern. Because um, some can cause stomach cancer, some are poisonous and just cause a lot of um, gastro problems. Even when cooking uh, fiddleheads. It's normal to, or any edible fern, um, it's common to boil them for 15 minutes, then sauteing and cooking them, because uh, boiling them does help take out any kind of, um, anything that will cause gastro problems. Now the kids have learned an important part of foraging, which is don't take your plant apart, because the part you're taking off may be the distinguishing factor. Now you see these here, I had said earlier in the video that these fiddleheads were missing the paper, the brown paper part of the heads that would um, kind of distinguish them as being edible or not edible. Now I've still not checked all of these, but the kids did bring me these paper brown parts and told me that they pulled them off because they didn't like the way they looked. So it is important, do not take your plant apart until you have identified it because these small parts do matter. So this was very important that I taught the kids and hopefully that will be something that will stick with them so they'll know not to do that in the future.